Hey, what up decisive marketers? Do you run online courses? So one of the biggest problem is that people are going to come up and tell you why do you you know start your own online course because people can just rip off your course, right? So one of the best ways to get uh people to stop ripping off your courses um is to do one thing and that thing is to start a private community right because when people sign up for causes the one of the biggest reason um, they do so is because um, they get support and that's what people want they want that support and by having a community it allows you to um, you know provide that kind of support to your students so that they wouldn't just you know sign up for your course download all your videos and just leave right because um with that added value that's going to help you and on top of that this uh this tool that we're going to be talking about today it is also a help desk tool so that when you get customer um questions coming in you uh I'm able to manage them in a better way because you can set the statuses of these um, messages that come in right those emails that come in you can make sure that every single um, customer support issue is handled uh, correctly and uh, you are able to save uh, can replies <coughs> so that you can just quickly um, pick a response and send it out uh, very quickly and uh, also because of the community feature, you will be able to um, have your customer ask questions and have other customers respond to them as well so that you reduce the uh, customer support that you have. So this tool to, that we're going to be talking about today is called Thrive Desk, right? And Thrive Desk, um, because they have that um, uh, help desk feature as well as the community feature uh, it really helps you to reduce the time and effort spent on uh, your customer support right so before we dive into thrive that be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so um, let me just jump into drive there so this is the drive dash uh, dashboard so you can if you have multiple inboxes right uh, you can choose them from here and um, I have one right here so this right now I mean the uh, inbox menu and uh, i just set this up uh, to set up the inbox is really simple all you need to do is go to manage and uh, you can set up the inbox name the address okay so this is the uh, uh, customer support address that i have and all i need to do is to copy this inbox address go into your um, email client right whichever that you are using so for example i'm using um, gmail right here i can then go into um, settings i just need to you know click on settings which i'm already on the settings page and then jump over to forwarding and add a forwarding address so just click on this and paste the email in here and then you'll be able to forward an email over to drive desk okay and by doing so um just let me just check if i'm getting some messages here okay so my bad so uh and when you do so um you will then uh be able to have messages coming into the inbox right so uh and then these are the default settings like who the from name is uh and what's the default status of the um the ticket and uh, who is it automatically assigned to all right so if you want to um, have it automatically assigned and you can send a copy of the outgoing conversations to a specific external address so this is um, useful so let's say you have a customer support manager who wants to you know vet through all the um, replies then you'll be able to use this to save a copy and uh, whether you want to turn on uh, auto reply so with auto reply turn on then uh, when someone sends a message they 
there is a automatic uh, reply that gives them a confirmation that uh, you have received the email right so you have uh, so that's that will be assuring for the customer who sent the email and then you can set up your uh, signature right here okay so it's very simple to set up and uh, so this is um, for your DNS uh, record right so if you want to set that up and uh, permission so these are where your you know uh, team members are and any uh, satisfaction rating that you want to send up send out okay right and then uh, this will be the landing page of the uh, you know your CSET right customer satisfaction uh, rating uh, right here okay so you can see an example can we see an example okay right so um, I guess uh, it's not ready yet okay the example of the page Right. So what we're going to be doing next is, uh, you know, this will be the inbox. Okay. So if there are any uh, chat messages that come in, okay, it will be right here. Okay. And uh, let's and this will be the email that came in. So uh, what happens is that with with uh, the email you um, that comes in from Google, uh, you got to copy this and, uh, you know, paste it in for the confirmation and every single email that comes in, you can assign it to someone. So let's say I assign it to myself and I can set the status of the, um, conversation. Now it's pending. So let's say if I send a reply, it becomes pending or I can close it, uh, if the case is resolved, right? and i can tag the conversation as well so i can say that this is customer support uh, or this is sales inquiry uh, and stuff like that so that uh, when i tag these conversations before i uh, close the conversation is so that uh, it, it will be good for you to track you know what kind of uh, um, you know uh, emails that come in that are taking up a lot of your time so that you can do you know you can look into it and see how you can improve the processes that you want right and they can delete the conversation right and you can set uh, internal notes as well for you to take note of the uh, customer support uh, or the customer that you have as well right and then these are the ones that are assigned uh, and then any close conversation and uh, trash you can also send out a new conversation by sending it to the uh, you know the uh, c the cu customer from within uh, Thrive Desk as well right so you can see all your reports in here how many conversations you have uh, how many is resolved how many contact help and on average how many emails that are coming in for you right okay and uh, all your contacts will be in here. You can also take note of them. Uh, you can put in notes, uh, their company name, uh, job title, and uh, all that information in here. Right. And uh, let's see. So these are the integrations that they have. Uh, you can have uh, easy digital downloads uh, data being integrated within Drive Test. Uh, you got WooCommerce, you got Envato. Fluence CRM, Slack, uh, Webhooks, uh, WordPress, Post, Sync. Okay. And uh, let's see, Assistant. Okay. Okay, so this is actually your, uh, what do you call that? Your chat. I think this is your chat live chat widget okay so uh you can put your company logo in there and uh you know show the agent that are online okay and then your know, contact form and so on right so uh what we're going to be doing first is to just copy this and we're going to test this out okay so i'm just going to go into my test 
website and I'm going to install uh, the drive test Okay, so uh, all I need to do to install this is really simple. This is the um, website that I got, right? This is the website that I have. Okay, and all I need to do is to jump into insert headers and footers, and I'm gonna embed the widget in here. So I'm going to put this in here, let me just get rid of this, and save. Okay, so if I refresh, I should be able to see the chat widget right here. Right, looks beautiful. Okay, so this would be the um, Thrive Test uh, widget, and I can upload my logo. So let me do so right here okay got to use a smaller one okay so let's use this one right here let's see how it is okay so save settings Okay, so I got to use like a white color logo to make it look better. Okay, so this is the widget looks great right here. Okay, and I can change, I guess they only have, okay, icon and text, or text only. Okay, so what kind of uh, design that you want. Um, can I change the name? Yeah, so... Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, and it's you know loading fast, right? So you can change the color if you want to. And then this will be the live chat. So let's try and speak to ourselves. Okay. So then we should have a uh, message in the chat okay let's send an email okay so someone will jump in so there we go right we got the chat that came in right here okay how can i help you so there we go we got the messages coming in right here right so um so that would be the live chat um widget and uh, i guess this will be your company information so you can set up your time zone and stuff like that okay singapore okay and then let's see so inboxes okay community so we can jump into communities really soon so they got this um, saved replies right here this is where you set up your um, quick reply so I'm going to show you how it is um, I think okay so there we go we can actually put in the uh, saved replies 
in the live chat or in the email inbox as well so this one is closed right so um, I can hit reply and and then I can select this as well right so I've got a safe reply in here okay so this so drive desk is quite uh, <laughs> useful right here and then we've got um, text so these are the text for the conversation and the users that you have okay so let's take a look at anything else right here so some keyboard shortcuts so you can um, you know sh uh, do a shortcut you can quickly delete conversation assign and uh, all that right here okay so next thing we're going to be jumping into is the community so this is the community that I've set up okay and uh, so this one is you know my profile what I what I've posted in the um, community so uh, you can put the you can set the channel uh, like general or something like that it, it kind of feels a little bit like slack but with Facebook kind of idea so uh, so this is the channel and then the visibility the channel description and then we've got your um, advanced settings which is for the uh, slug okay and your layout how do you want it to be post view um, so let's change the layout right here and see how it looks like so the post view it kind of feels like Facebook and then we've got list view so it looks like this and uh, so this one kind of feels like a little bit like a forum kind of idea and then you've got uh, cut view let's take a look at that okay so it's a little bit more like a grid okay and every single post you can like you can comment okay right kind of like Facebook right here and then you can pin comment edit comment delete comments you can put emojis as well okay. right so let's take a look uh, so default settings these are the settings right here right so if you want to allow other people to invite other people as well so it, the the concept kind of feels a little bit like discord but the display itself kind of uh, feels like Facebook so and then our default member notification so whether you'll be sending out emails and the meta information right and meta and open graph information uh, information so this will be for your social media sharing or your as well as your um, SEO settings right here okay so I guess this is useful as well in some ways because uh, the community can be cropped by <coughs> Google and show up on the Google search results, right? So um, what else do we have? Got um, add member so you can just probably send them an invite via email address Okay, and you can put in links right here. Can you see that? So you can click on plus and you can add links in here so the title and the URL and uh, whether you want to make the link private or open in a new tab okay and let's see if there's anything else and that's all uh, let's look at the settings here so you can change the community name the visibility the branding uh, which is your logo and your icon which is the favicon right here and the default channels uh, like where they go into right so you can set that up as well and you get um, C name for your <coughs> community as well so that's all for drive desk um, I think where um, drive desk is uh, is great at is you know the community feature it's you know fast um, the you know the widget is loading fast it looks great um, and the uh, you know the 
the email inbox is great as well so the only issue that i feel with thrive desk is that uh it is lacking social media inboxes uh in my opinion uh the knowledge base is also on the roadmap so it's not out yet uh and also let's see uh, I think the community feature is great, but with some gamification, I think that would be even better. Uh, and that's all I have about Thrive Desk. I think um, Thrive Desk, um, you know, the uh, I think it's a it's a great solution if you are looking for a help desk solution. Uh, the team behind it, they are uh, you know great people as well. So you're getting a very stable um, tool right here with Thrive Desk. Okay, and I think that's all I have to say about Thrive Desk. Um, let me know what you think about Thrive Desk in the comments. Um, if you know anyone who could make use of a help desk uh, tool, be sure to share uh, this video with them. And lastly, if you have enjoyed this, uh, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.